Oh girl, let's not miss him sons. Okay kids, it's that time of the year. Is Thanksgiving already? No Homer, it's not Thanksgiving until November. Oh, is it Whacking Day? No Bart, Whacking Day was two episodes ago. Episodes? Yeah, since then your father has had two cardiac episodes. One more and we got a free colonoscopy. Well mom, what day is it? Today's the day we go and visit grandpa. Oh. <sighs> what have you been up to dad? Well, the previous owners of this place came round yesterday to see if I had seen Spider-Man. I told them I had, but I didn't have any pictures, so they left. That's lovely, Abe. Pfft, yeah, like it actually happened. Come on, Lise, let's go upstairs. Hey, Bart, what's that? I don't know, some stupid old thing. Now let's find Monopoly and get out of here. It looks like a journal of some kind. Boring. Bart, this is the diary of Gil Gunderson. What's it called? How to mooch off the successful? No, Bart, there's blueprints in here. Wait, really? Uh-huh, look, this one's for a mobile phone. So, I can bet one of those. Bart, be serious, this is dated 1996, long before Steve Mobs invented the MyPhone. 1996? That's long before anything ever. Sure, Bart. Anyway, this means that Gil could have got the patent for the mobile phone in the 90s and become a billionaire. <laughs> this is Bart Simpson, who the hell are you? Charles Montgomery Pines. Did somebody say billionaire? Uh, yeah. Excellent. Aren't you going to release the hounds? Now how would that work, young Simpson? I can't email you the hounds. How would they bite you? Oh, hello? He hung up. Homer, tell your father the news. Oh, yeah. We got this new vending machine at work that dispenses DIY donut kits. It comes with donut dough, so if you buy three kits like me, Lenny, and Carl did, you can make a triple-sized donut. No, about Patty. Patty, where? Tell Abe about Patty's new job. Ah, oh, fine. And Patty and Selma got fired from the DMV and got jobs at the skateboard shop and got fired from that. Patty was hired to be in his comeback special in MacGyver. Wow, just her, not Selma? Not after how the date went. You're telling me I was there, I think. Yeah, just like you're at the signing of the Constitution. <laughs> Hello, I'm Kent Brockman. This is Smartline. Our top story tonight... Infamous kidnapper Walter McLaren was released from Springfield Penitentiary earlier today. In a statement from Chief Wiggum, we learned that he plans to direct the MacGyver comeback special. Oh no, please don't kidnap my sister-in-law. Wait, Marge will probably care about that. I'll have to remember to tell her. Homer, what time did you get back from Rose? Ah, uh, hey Marge, there was something I was supposed to tell you, but I forgot. We'll try to remember, it might be important. Mom, Dad, we found out something interesting about Gil. They started. Get me a beer. And you, Spikey, get me a beer. But Dan, you just asked Lisa to get your beer. Hey, shut up. What'd you find out about Gil, kids? Lise? Trust you to not remember something we learned yesterday. You don't even remember the words of the National Anthem. One, I do remember the words. I pay attention in school. And three, see? Anyway, when we were over at Grandpa's, we found a journal belonging to Gil with blueprints for a mobile phone from 1996. Gil invented a mobile phone? Yeah, according to his journal, he studied electronics and coding at Harvard. Ever notice how lots of Springfielders have ironic backgrounds? Snake? And now Gil? It's just one of the mysteries of life, boy. Why do my hair and ears spell MG? What does the number mean when Maggie gets accidentally checked out? Where does the shop where that happens? You just have to live with them. Okay, homie, maybe you should go lie down. Kids, we'll go see Gil and tell him what you found. Oh, I'm sorry, Maggie. We're gonna have to leave you here with Grandpa. You're very quiet, Maggie. Well, I didn't think I'd be back here so soon. Actually, Mom, a lot of Springfield has moved to Lego City. Most of them are actually born here. They don't have Dr. Herbert around to charge $3,000 for a birth. Well, that's very interesting, sweetie. Yeah, if by interesting you mean stupid and lame. Mom, watch your mouth. You'll upset the citizens. Don't worry, you can't be bothered to animate background characters. What? What? Is that Gil there? I think it is, Sonny. Hey, Gilly McFailface, get over here. Hey, welcome to my old friends, the Simpsons. How are you all? <laughs> Hi, Gil. We found out you invented the mobile phone before anyone else. Ah, uh, yeah, back in the day when I used to invent things. Hi, Selma. It's Patty. I've arrived at the set of the MacGyver comeback special. Oh, hi. Yeah, that's great. I can't wait to meet the director. I'm going to ask him if I have any scenes with MacGyver. Thanks. Okay, great. Yeah, see you later.
The eagle has landed. Mr. McLaren, I'm Patty. Nice to meet you, Patty. Have you met MacGyver yet? No, I'd love to, though. Come with me. In here. Mr. MacGyver, it's an honor. It really is. <laughs> Parodies. You know, the thing that happens to a Christmas carol every year. There are so many parodies of A Christmas Carol that you didn't even notice. That's not a real Christmas Carol parody. Take a look at this one entitled A Batmas Carol. I'm Batman. What do you want? I am the ghost of Batmas Robin. Cool. (laughs) Yellow. Hey, Blubber the Hutt, it's Selma. What do you want? Patty still isn't back from filming the MacGyver thing. Do you think she's alright? Yeah, it's like she hasn't been kidnapped. What? Oh yeah, a kidnapper got released from Springfield Penitentiary yesterday. What does that have to do with Patty? Uh, nothing. Listen, you giant blob. I know Bart has been prank calling Moe's. If you're keeping this over for me and I find out, I'll tell Moe it's Bart that's been prank calling him. Yeah, okay, okay. The kidnapper is, di- is the director of the MacGyver comeback special. Sweet Gemini Springfield, Patty. Patty, what about Grandpa and Maggie? They went out and they could be anywhere by now. <laughs> so what do we do, Lisa? Well, I have some good news. While you guys were having pizza, I got in contact with Lindsay Nagel, and she said she'd represent you in a patent case. Well, well done, sweetie, but I thought Lindsay Nagel were for Channel 6. You think she has a lot of jobs? That old guy with a mustache has like 20. Ah, oh, you mean Raphael. Guys, are we agreed? Well, absolutely. Anything to get out of my job as a thermostat manager over at the ice rink. All rise for the Honorable Judge Gordon. We are here to debate the case of the pre-patent invention of a mobile phone by Mr. Gilbert Gunderson. Would his representative please make their case? Your Honor, in 1996, my client drew up blueprints for a mobile phone in this very journal. Ms. Simpson? The judge does deem this blueprint to be valid and indeed dated March 22nd, 1996. I rest my case. Well, Miss Nagel, that was impressive. Couldn't have done it without your evidence, Lisa. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, what is your conclusion? The jury finds in favor of old Gil. <laughs> Gilbert Gunderson, I find you entitled to five million dollars. Hello, SPD. This is Selma Bouvier. I have reason to believe there is a kidnapping in progress on the set of the MacGyver comeback special. Don't worry, Patty. I'm here. I'll get you out. Congratulations! You two are the stars of a fortnight from now tomorrow's kidnap prank. You've won a lifetime supply of Gunderson mobile phones. <laughs> Credits. The thing that no one has ever finished watching. Even when there are post credit scenes, as soon as they're over, people leave. They're so boring that you didn't even notice Jebediah Springfield wasn't in this video. No wonder people overlay credits onto opening sequences, at least then they enter us subconsciously. Sometimes the creator of a thing will put a voiceover over the credits so people will stay. Hey, wait a minute. 